hello. I'm going to work here uh, an exercise. This is from our workbook 18465TR. It's a running fix, a running fix using two different targets. That's uh, always a possibility. And uh, this is a uh, number 6-7. And here is the problem. And uh, I'll work this two ways, as we usually do, one with electronic charting and the other by uh, pr um, with a paper chart, parallel rulers and s dividers and so forth. But it's, it, it's, so it's quicker to solve it and, and notably easier to make the video um, with the electronic one. So let me do the electronic one and then come back later and show how the pieces move uh, doing it manually. Um, the same basic principle, except we just have to do some tricks here in the electronics. So here's the problem. We would do running fix. You're sailing on course 050M. So it looks like if I look through here, it looks like everything's going to be magnetic. That's fine. And we're, we're somewhere near Sheringham Point. That's this Sheringham Point's right here on the chart, uh, right here. And let me, oh, let me just see where I find my, okay. Um, Keep this out here. Okay, so Sheringham Point, and we're speed is seven knots, and uh, foggy but calm, and all we can see is Sheringham Point light. That's a bright light right there, and we don't know where we are. We're somewhere, somewhere around here, and our course, and it's a uh, 18. Uh, you notice it's exactly oh Sheringham. We're on course 050M, and Sheringham B is exactly on our beam at 1855. So that's basically a line of position. And so let's see what is the that that's like if we took a compass bearing to it, but we just used the ship's compass and relative bearings. So let's figure. Let's do figure magnetic bearing to the light. So we're uh, we're driving 50. 50 degrees, 050, and the light is 90 degrees to the left, right? 90 degrees on the, uh, oh, that's interesting. What's it say here? On 90 degrees on your beam. Ah, well, okay, that's got to be on the port beam. It's got to be on the port beam. We're here. It's there. So it's on the port beam. So it's a uh, 50 this way and 90 to the left. So it's 50 minus 90. That's minus 40. And then we take the 360. So that's actually a magnetic bearing to that light as if we stood on deck with a hand bearing compass and married three, uh, um, um, you know, 320 magnetic. Okay, so that's a, that's a, uh, a line of position at what time? 1855. So let's do that. Let's draw in that line. And here's one of the, you know, sort of the tricks we do to draw in these lines because we, we know it's 320 that way. But if I start drawing 320, that's the wrong direction. So I have to do a trick here. Here's our trick. I've done it before here for you. We start with a light here and we go out to 320. Now that's 303. You see on the left there, 299, 303. I'm going to go up to this just turn, whoops, just turns to 320. Bang, okay, 318, 319, 320, 319, 320, right there and stop. Okay, that's 320. So we come down here and we'll draw this line in just so it, uh, let me zoom out a little bit. Uh, and I to, to zoom out, you see, I'm moving my mouse. This has got, I've got the cursor locked in on my mouse, which I'm just moving left and right. And then I'm rolling to change the zoom, I'm rolling the roller ball on the mouse or the roller the roller. And so I want to just bring this right down here. So that means I'm somewhere, this is my line of position. And then I hit, I, I clicked it, left click, now escape. Okay. Now what that means is, this is my boat, all I know is my boat is somewhere on this line, and when I look that direction, that's 320M, that's how I establish this line of position. So I'm on here somewhere, and I'm on here going this way at 050. But since I don't know where I am, I don't necessarily have to put my position on there yet at all. Let's see what the rest, what we know more. And that was at 1855. Okay. Um, you note that exactly on your beam. What is a magnetic bearing at 1855? Oh, we've solved that one. That was 320M. And that's the answer, 320M. Okay. So what, what must this, okay. Bearing uh, be on your own. Okay. You continue on east, e well, east, and in this case means you, we're not heading east, obviously. We're heading 050, more like northeast, but that means towards the east, easterly. Okay. Uh, you continue east on the same course, that's 050M, at the same speed. 
the fog clears and you can just see the light at Race Rocks well off to starboard at 1919 and it bears 080M. Okay, so we have now another another line, another another line of position, and that's back here. Uh, let's see. That's this light right here, Race Rocks light. Now, if you weren't sure about that, then you're going to have to dig into the, we have the light list, we have sections of the light list in the, in the book, in the workbook there, and we have uh, sections of the Coast Pilot and so on. But you see here Race Rocks and this light, and that's the only bright guy in the neighborhood, and that's 15 miles. So, you know, and that's, we're sort of on the edge of that. Uh, but it's very high light, so 118 feet. So that's the light we're talking about right here. And that's bearing 080. So we have to do the same trick. We have to start here at this light, get our, get our route tool up here, and we start at this light, and I'm going to go off in 080. I'm going to, in a minute, go back the other way, right? So here is a 60, uh, 68, uh, 70, 79, 80, Okay, 79, eight, I want to go right where, okay, that's it, right there. So now I'm just going to go back that line. Some, so, so I get that lined up here, okay. Okay, I'm going to stop there. That's our second line of position. So we now at, what time, 1855, we're on this line somewhere. And at, what else, 19... What's the second time there? 1919, we're on this line. And so let's look at that, what we've got here. So we've got to figure our distance run. We're 1919 to 1855. That's 24 minutes, right? Five up to get to 19, five plus 19, 24. So it's 24 minutes. And how many hours is that? 24 divided by 60 is 0.4 hours. Distance, speed times time. So it's 7 times 0 0.4, 2.8 miles. So 2.8 miles in direction 050. So here's how the running fix works. Somewhere I was somewhere on this line. I went 2.8 miles in direction, 2.8 miles in direction 050 magnetic and ended up on this line. There's only one place I can leave here, go 2.8 miles in that direction and end up on this line. Right? So if I just use the M key, for example, let me hear the M key, M, oh, M. So let's say, let's say I was up here, right? So I, there's no possible way I'm going to get on that line up there. So I can just bail on that. And let's say I'm down here. Let me press the M key from here and then go out 2.8 miles. Well, nowhere near, right? See, that can't be right. So it's somewhere, you know, somewhere maybe over here. Let me, I'm just guessing to show you the principle. We're going to do it systematically here in a minute. So I go here, 2.8 2.88, well, that's not quite right either, but it's anywhere, I'm getting close. So the way that you do this, though, to find the exact place is choose any place on this line, any place at all on that line, and then I, I'm, now I'm going to use a route tool because I've got to do two things. I'm going to, I'm going to go out 2.8, uh, and then I'm going to essentially move this with parallel rulers by going out 2.8 and then go up 320. That's like moving this with parallel rulers. So, so, so I go here and I go out to 2.8. Uh, okay. Oh, 2.8 at 50, right? I got to go to, okay. So that's two, oh, there it is right there. 2.8 at 50. Now I have to turn to 320. And uh, let's see, 315, 318, 320. Okay, bang. Oh. Yeah, something like that. This is just a quick illustration. Now, this is what I've done if I'm doing it with a paper chart. I've taken this line. I put my parallel rulers on. Okay, first of all, I draw this line out in the direction I'm going, which is 050 magnetic. That's just anywhere on that line, 050 magnetic. I mark off 2.8 miles, which is how far I ran between this site and this site. And then I take my parallel rulers and line it up with this and move them up to here right here. And then my fix is right here. 
And on the electronics, we could check it by just drop. You can't drop a mark right here. You see, if you try to drop a mark there, it's not there because you're highlighting all this other stuff. So what you do is you drop a mark out here, anywhere, bring it down into there. Let me get up close. Okay. Bring that mark up to right there, something like that. Right click it and ask for its properties. And there we have the latitude and longitude. Now let's see what the answer is. Oh, that's not the answer. Okay. What's the answer? 4819.7. Okay, I got 19.8. That's, and I wasn't as careful as I could be. And this is uh, one. 123, 49.2, and that's like 49.2. So that's the answer, and that's how you get it. What's the rest of the question? Uh, advance the first to the second to get your latitude. What light should you see dead ahead? See, now that's always a nice, reasonable question. Now, so here we know where we are, so we would again take our route tool and start and, and move. See, wherever we guessed we were is wrong. Now, now we know where we are. We're here. And then I take this out and draw, uh, this got to be 050. That's 050 right there. Exit. Okay, so this is easy. The light that's dead ahead is this guy. Quick, f uh, quick flashing, six mile light. Um, that's it. And what's the answer? Well, that's got to be the right answer. Quick 21, six, six miles. Okay, entrance to Sook Basin. Okay, that's right. Now we can do something else if we care to. We could just go up here, say, let me just, let me take this route tool again and just go here and then just run back this line, okay? Let me just run back this line. And just for the heck of it, if I cared to know, this is actually where I was at 1855 for what it's worth. Okay, so that's that problem solved with electronic charts. It's done really the same way, a little bit, well, I don't know, easier or different using, uh, using um, parallel rulers. But I'm going to come and do the parallel rulers in a minute.